Hello, world. Well, I want to give a shout out to uh, Juan. So he says it's like a cancer, kind of like what my wife had. She had cervical cancer. We got that all taken care of now. So that's what he says. He feels like we're on the verge of World War III. Some people are saying it's not going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen, dude. We're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. I've got that one. And do you think and do you think Israel could just uh, survive a Tarsa bomb? And I'm like, what? Somebody commented on that. And I'm like, well, no, they would not survive a Tarsa bomb. Not one bit. So, but I don't think Israel's going to let them get so close enough to uh, drop a Tarsa bomb on them. So, you got to give them a little more credit than that. I mean, their air defense system's a lot better than that. Their jets are a lot better than that. They'll they'll protect their skies. Trust me. So. Unless they sneak one in there, I don't know. But who the hell would want to drop a Tarsa bomb on the fucking Holy Land? Other than Iran. That'd be like their wettest dream, their slipperiest dream. A Tarsa bomb on the Holy Land. that goes, boom. Never, you can't go there for another five or 600 years. Or ever. That's the world's biggest bomb. The Tarsa. If you didn't know what that is. It's sexy. That's big. <laughs> Just when America thought they had one big, then the Tarsa came, and that was the end of that. So let's just pray. Let's say a prayer right now that the Tarsa does not ever reach the Holy Land. Let us pray. You know? Fuck. <laughs> Way to comment on that one. Jesus H. Christ. What kind of fucking comments are these two? <laughs> Here I'm supposed to respond back to you guys. Then you got Kim Jong Un saying, "This is fucking absurd. I want my fucking ship and I want it back now." It's all over his news over there. He's mad as a hornet, and he wants his fucking ship back. So you better give him back the Hope Wisdom. That's what it's the name of the ship. It's called the Hope Wisdom, and he wants it back. Give him back his goddamn Hope Wisdom and be done with it. Fuck. Now you're really pissing him off. No, you better watch out. I hope he doesn't shoot a fucking Hossong 15 sideways up your <laughs> Donald Trump in your little Camp David, dude. You better watch out. This guy's nuts, dude, and he's got his fucking fingers on the triggers, and he owns, he owns Hossong 15s. And I'm sure since the last time that he launched these motherfuckers, it weighs 666 pounds is the warhead, 666. Yeah. Deadly, huh? Kind of biblical, isn't it? Well, anyway, since he la lost, ugh, last time that he launched these things, he's definitely stepped up his game on how to get these things to go just a little bit more. I guarantee it. Just enough just to get DC, the Pentagon, wherever the hell he wants to hit. You know, this missile's coming in fast. There's no way in hell we could probably shoot this thing down because our missile defense system sucks! Thank you, Pentagon. Yeah, you can way to go with your stealth ships. Yeah, that yeah, that'll help. That'll help the good old US of A. <laughs> and you're still out at sea and America's burning. So this is why we don't want war with Russia. We don't want it. Here it's bad enough if we have war with Iran. We have terrorists throughout all of our lands and all over the world. Boom, boom. I told the wife, man, oh, I heard sirens and fire trucks going off today. I was like, it was war kicks off. You better get used to that sound. Cause there's going to be sounds of gunshots and fire and fire trucks and ambulances all the time, dude. These motherfuckers are going to strike, dude. They're just waiting for any kind of order. So where are they and where are they going to hit? God only knows. And let's hope that it never happens. But I have a bad feeling that these motherfuckers are going to strike. So... It's like they struck over there in Saudi Arabia. Trust me, they got sleeper cells in the U.S. too as well. So keep your eyes behind you at all times. And don't... Just try to avoid going to major like malls like the Mall of America and places like that for a few days. I just don't think that's a good safe bet. I think that's going to be on their, their target list. So I just... I got a bad feeling about that spot. I told my dad, my dad's like, I never go there, man. There's too many fucking people. And I'm like, exactly. I fucking hate that place, so... But there you go. They're probably going to sneak some fucking synthetics in there somehow, some way. Whether it be in, I don't know what mall in, in the country these fuckers are going to probably strike. But they're going to strike. So, this is Iran we're talking about. This is the leading sponsor of terror throughout the entire world. And we're about to fucking go head-to-head -head with them. So, it's 
kind of chilly and kind of a nerve and you know what I mean? A nerve and feeling there. I got a feeling it's not going to go so well. So not for anybody, not for them, not for us. It's nobody's going to really successfully win this fucking fight. So this is just going to be a bloodbath until uh, whatever, whatever, whatever army wants to really pull the trigger and end it. So maybe it'll be ended just the way it was ended in World War II. Maybe, huh? Who knows? I hope not. So, as long as it's not on my soil, this is why it'd be nice if we had hypersonic missile to shoot down hypersonic missile. But we don't have hypersonic missile. We got a subsonic missile. So that ain't no good. <laughs> not good enough. Not good. No fucking good. It's not going to go so well for America. But anyway, I love y'all. I don't know. Pray that Putin stays out of it. I don't know. I don't know what else to fucking tell you. It sucks. It's just bad. That feeling of cancer? Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't know. Have a stiff drink. That's what I did. All right. I love you all.